Hello friends, welcome to Judo Room, your go-to place for everything in the world of Judo. Today, we have an exclusive review of this season's major event, the Kodoken Cup 2024. This tournament not only showcased the incredible level of Japanese Judo, but also served as an essential stepping stone toward the upcoming Grand Slam Tokyo 2024 in December. Competing in this tournament is a dream for many judokas, as it offers not only a chance to win, but also a ticket to one of the biggest events of the year. Let's dive into the highlights and see who came out on top at the Kodokan Cup. The Kodokan Cup is not just a tournament. It's a true tradition and a piece of Japanese judo heritage. Held within the walls of Kodokan, the first judo center founded by the great Jigoro Kano, this tournament gathers Japan's top athletes, and its winners gain recognition around the world. A victory at the Kodokan Cup signifies not only exceptional skill, but also readiness to represent Japan on the international stage. This year's matches were thrilling, with some fantastic victories. Here are the results across the various weight classes. Men's 60 kegi starting with the 60 kilo category, where every match was fast-paced and intense. Daigo Fukuda from Ace Support took the gold, demonstrating a perfect combination of speed and technique. His final rounds kept fans on the edge of their seats. Silver went to Kenta Sakamoto from Meiji, a worthy competitor, while Yusei Adachi from Tenri and Tatsu Matsunaga from Kakushikan earned the bronze medals. Both judokas showcased impressive defensive and counter-attack skills, earning them honorable podium spots. Men's 66 kg, moving on to the 66 kg category, where the action was just as intense. Hitana Ono from FC University proved why he is considered one of the most talented judokas in this weight class, claiming the gold with precision and skill. Taiko Fujisaka from Park 24 took the silver, displaying excellent ability and a strong will to win. Seishiro Konishi from FC School and Mizuki Nakajima from Waseda claimed the bronze, both showing remarkable resilience and tactical prowess. Men's 73 Kijis The 73 KGE category is always one of the most exciting, and this year was no exception. Ryuga Tanaka from Tsukuba stood at the top of the podium, confidently handling every match with powerful throws and self-assurance. Hidetoshi Uchimura from FC School took second place, demonstrating strong technique, while Yudai Tanaka from Park 24 and Ken Oyoshi from Shonen won bronze medals. Their fighting spirit and determination made their matches unforgettable. Men's 81 Kilo Aki in the 81 KD category the gold went to Sotaro Fujiwara from Asahi. Fujiwara didn't just win his matches. He dominated on the tatami, using his speed and technique to control the fight. Silver went to Yoshido Hojo from Park 24, who showed resilience and strategic skill, while Kaito Amano from Tokai and Kido Gamochi from the Racing Association took the bronze medals. Both judokas demonstrated great counter-attack and defense techniques. Men's 90 kilos. The 90 Kijijoaki division gave us some equally thrilling bouts. Hidehaya Tokomochi from Meiji claimed gold, showing stability and confidence in every move. His main opponent, Komei Kawabata from Kokushikan, took silver, while Riku Okada and Shunta Nakamura from Kokushikan and Kokugakuin, respectively, earned the bronze. These judokas showed how important preparation and experience are at the highest level of competition. Men's 100 Kilo Aikis The 100 Kilo Lo division also treated us to unforgettable moments. Green Kaito Karani from Park 24 won gold, thanks to his strength and strategy that brought him victory in the final rounds. Silver went to Nozomu Miki from Kokushikan, who showed excellent tactical moves, while Tatsuya Hatakiyama from Keio Gas and Mitsutaka Kumasaka from Senko won the bronze medals. Both judokas proved to be tough and skilled fighters. Men's plus 100 kill yellow, and finally, in the plus 100 kill yellow category, we saw the strongest and most experienced judokas take the mat. Yuta Nakamura from Tokai won gold, once again proving he can handle the toughest opponents. Takudo Kimoto from Nippon Steel took second place, and the bronze medals went to Kazuya Sato and Tsubasa Takahashi from Nippon Steel and Asahi, respectively. The bouts in this category showcase just how essential strength and technique are in heavyweight judo.
The Kodokan Cup 2024 was a true celebration of judo, and each of these athletes brought their best qualities to the tatami. For many participants, this tournament was a chance to secure their place in Grand Slam Tokyo 2024, and we are confident we'll see many of them in Tokyo this December, where they'll face off against the world's best judokas. Thank you for watching our review. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe to Judo Room, and leave a comment. Let us know which Kodokan Cup 2024 participant impressed you the most, and who you're excited to see at Grand Slam Tokyo. See you in the next video. Catch you on the tatami.